Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day, I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help. So, we'll be forced to release him back onto his homeworld, at an unspecified place and time. Extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Bet it'd be hell trying to escape from this place. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey, hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack, sorry. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't wanna go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Did they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. 
Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your... pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Maybe I can change your mind. Activate systems! He's got company. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat. Shepard, if you hack that control, every door in the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be ready. Can use this. All guards, restore order. Lethal force authorized. But don't kill Jack. Tex, lockdown, lockdown. Sectors 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. I've got him. 
do that right now. What the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? The ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. Could just knock her out, Commander. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, Precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. 
No Mrs. Taylor waiting in port, Jacob? I'm surprised. Don't be. Easier that way. Cerberus keeps you mobile. Aside from guarding you for two years. Not the worst job I've had, that's for sure. Where are you going with this? Just making sure I won't get my ass shot off if I make a move on you. Well, I wasn't expecting that, Commander. Shepard, I haven't looked at you that way. I, I mean, I've looked, sure, but not seriously. A an option, just not one i take. Okay. <laughs> now that I sound like an idiot, what I mean is, I won't disrupt the ship with this. That makes sense. I'm not looking to make life difficult either. I'm good with that, Commander. Didn't bring any baggage aboard, and not taking anyone I go. I should get back to work. Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the Collectors pay for taking him. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. It's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. I like Kasumi, but... Why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Shepard, the tank you recovered from Corliss indicates stable Krogan life signs inside. It is in the cargo bay should you wish to investigate.
Hey, got a minute? I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Is it that easy for Okir's perfect Krogan to abandon his mission? Okir is just a voice in the tank. If his imprints are true, then he created something stronger than him. So he's not worthy of me. And if his hatreds aren't strong enough to compel me, they've failed too. I feel nothing. I have no connection. I have a good ship and a strong crew, a strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy, no doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. 
Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. That's all for now. Shepard. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the Collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. 
You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word if it's a Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Why does Herrick control your prices? Herrick made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. <sighs> Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's thoughts get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave. I might have something here for you. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorcha Task Force. Got something to report? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. 
What's your job here exactly? Keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. I'll just be going. Keep moving. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No. Just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... Fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. First rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. Do I know you? No, no, you humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan! You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fork. Not taking any chances. I heard you were dead. I had a party and everything. <laughs> no hard feelings, though, huh? No, really. Thanks for taking the time to chase a small-time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in the shithole for years. And if you leave the straight and narrow, I'll be there to follow up. Right, right, because you don't have planets to save and bigger shit like that. Nothing better to do than keep me down. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy. Messing with a man's living. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. You can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one ruler. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. Then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morden Solas. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. 
I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Salarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead, too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Maybe I'll come back later. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. The stripper's quarters are that way. Wow, not even a smile. So you're here to fight, then? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? 
Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah. Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garn's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. A five-year-old can figure out how to use a gun. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, Woody! Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds like a death trap. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with it for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Sounds like getting out will be more fun than getting in. 
Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. Why are you following this human, young one? Why not? She's the strongest warrior I've seen. You should be learning from your own kind. He's a valuable part of my crew. What else does he need to know? How to live and die without fear. How to put that fear in the hearts of your enemies. Shepard does that and more. If you say so. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the Blood Pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. Kathka? Sergeant Kathka. Must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. 
Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. Where did I put that Omni tool? Archangel's in trouble! I guess we should go get him out. Give these guys a surprise of our own. Archangel. Shepard, I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skills sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. 
but it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. If we just wait, they'll pick us off eventually. It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Go! Online! Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? There. Now it's getting fun. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Grunt, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. I don't care where I fight, as long as I get to hurt someone. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in. 
through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. He still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on it. Watch out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already! They're offloading troops!
We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. Hope you didn't need this guy too much. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Mm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but... With all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. 
Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute? You might learn something. Jack, Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. I knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. But that ain't easy. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands it can taste like mighty fine ass. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillian Five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion Five's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. 
beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. I'm looking for Morden Solus. You know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. How do I get to him? If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. No. You said he had a close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then you'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arya's Patriarch. What do you want? What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. Crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. 
few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. And someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be. You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's Krant? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, all you may think of me is more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. Reminds her too much of herself. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men sent here to kill him. Funny I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. I'm not looking for payment from you. Look at you. So proud. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look like you need to use there's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in till the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm 
I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. <laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth, like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <laughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <laughs> yours and the wretched Vorcha. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it! Damn you! Damn. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <laughs> a human created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. 
he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <coughs> I should go. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Thanks, mate. 